Nico B. Back with some more, Hunter Hunter. Who he last left off? Holy shit. <laughs> wow. Wow. That was a freaking episode. That was worth the wait. Jeez, man. That was crazy. That ended up being so much more of a curb stomping by Kurpika than I thought. I I thought like, man, Kurpika, I don't know what he's going to do. Like, I can't imagine he's going to kill the guy. Maybe disable him or something. But like, I mean, he just, he just wrecked the shit out of him. And it, it shows not just, well, not just how strong Kurapika has gotten, but it shows the level that he prepared for this, right? Clearly, he went in like, all right, I know I'm like kind of the scrub in comparison to a lot of these guys. So clearly, he had a lot of training for different abilities and also just a lot of time to think about how exactly he wants to tackle this. In a lot of ways, Uvogan was sort of the test for Kurapika, right? To test his abilities to see how effective his chain jail was. Um, if it worked on him, the guy who was seemingly the, you know, physically the strongest guy, then it seems like it probably would work on everybody else. So, I mean, they don't have some Nen that counters it. And, oh my god, man, just, it was fucking crazy. And that, his Emperor time seems fucking busted. <laughs> it's, at least out of the offset. Though you guys explain to me why, what he meant. It doesn't mean that he is, like, by activating it, he's suddenly perfect at everything. Like, everything he does is, like, like, he knows every Nen-type ability and is perfect at it. It, it basically means... When it comes to the chart, right, of uh, Nen abilities, uh, the further away you get from your regular category, so he's a conjurer, the further you get away from it, the less effective that ability is going to be, even if you train really hard at it. So, like, enhancer abilities might be, like, 60% as effective on a conjurer. It basically gets rid of that. Basically, it makes it so that he could be 100% effective at everything, but he still has to learn the abilities and actually train and figure them out himself. It's not like he just learns everything. So, clearly... Kurpika, during his training, did learn some enhancer abilities of, like, the ability to actually, you know, power up his punch to, to give himself some defense. But it did show that even, like, at the level he was at, he couldn't take Uvogan's punch and defend against it at, at his full power, right? Uvogan said, you know, him being, like, basically a master enhancer, only person they could possibly defend against that is another enhancer. If he's a conjurer, there's no fucking way he'd be able to defend against this shit. And, but it's because of the Emperor time, because... He got rid of that limitation that would prevent him from being able to use it at 100% uh, capability. Um, it's still stupidly good. I mean, I still like crazy powerful. And I feel like would give him the leg up on anybody he would go against. But you guys did tell me apparently there actually has been confirmed a serious setback to it. I don't know what it is because apparently it's actually something that only was revealed fairly recently in the manga. And only, only after the, the anime has ended, which... I gotta say, really? <laughs> With how powerful this move is? I'm surprised it took him that long to suggest that there was some really negative downside to this Emperor Tom, because that is, that is stupidly good. I mean, we saw at the end that he was like, oh, I think I did it too long, and he seemed like he was, like, tired, right? In my head, my thought is maybe something like, oh, it lowers his life expectancy when he does it. Like, some shit like that. I don't know, though. It's fine. You don't have to tell me. I'll, I'll figure it out at some point. I guess probably after the anime ends, but that, that's sort of what I'm thinking it could be like, like he take, he's actually taking years off his life when he does it, which would be a uh, pretty big setback. I do wonder though, if, if that ability is something he could only use against uh, the spiders, or is it just the chain jail? Is that the only thing, like the only ability of his that he uh, can't use on anyone else? No, no, it's the chain in general, right? Because the chain, he said, like he told him before, if you want to make an unbreakable chain, then it has to be, you have to put a lot of conditions on it. So I think that means that he can't use the chain on anybody but the spiders, which might mean in later in later fights, he might not be able to use that anymore if, if he's fighting anyone other than the spiders, which granted at this point, he has no reason to fight anybody else, but I can't imagine this whole series is just gonna be Kurapika trying to fight the, the Phantom Troop. Or maybe it will be, I don't know. I mean, there are still a shit ton of these uh, spiders left to free, seemingly defeat or kill. I also laughed a lot. I, I saw, like I said, like, well, Nico, technically, Evogen, he didn't kill Evogen. Evogen committed suicide. Yeah, okay, sure. He committed suicide from the condition that Kurapika put on him. And even then, when he said, he's like, you know, I'll let you live longer is what he said to him when he, when he gave him that condition. 
I'm pretty sure Kurpika was going to kill him regardless. In my book, that's still a kill from Kurpika, all right? This ain't some Kiryu shit, okay? We're not saying, oh, he's the gun didn't kill him, the bullet did. And I'm not responsible for the bullet. Or when I shot the guy's car and the car exploded, the explosion killed him, not me. Fuck you, all right? Kurpika murdered the shit out of that dude. And he, it's all right, though. He fucking deserved to die. But anyway, uh, last episode, uh, Jin Sinner, the dungeon host, said, uh, Kurpika and a Vogan in a car on the way to the wasteland. Kurpika, hold on, stop here. A Vogan, scared. No, I need to pick something up. Goes in the lows, comes back with a shovel. What's that for? You. <laughs> you guys actually pointed out how it's become a bit of a joke of the community. The fact that uh, Kurpika brought a shovel with him to that fight. I didn't even think about that. A deer like hit me, oh yeah. He had a shovel with him the whole time, unless he conjured it, which I don't think he probably did. I think, no, I think he actually brought it with him because he knew he's like, I'm going to bury this guy's dumb ass. And I love that. That is, <laughs> that is all kinds of savage. <laughs> and it's also made me laugh to just imagine, oh wait, they, that's true. They actually did kind of have to go out to this place that they fought each other, right? That'd be kind of an awkward car ride. <laughs> God damn it. After this fight, after this shit though, it just makes me love Kurpika that much more. He's my favorite character in this show, bar none, all right? Don't be wrong, I like Gon and Killua and Liario, but Kurapika just, if right now, at least, he's just blowing him out of the fucking water. And bringing a shovel to a fight because he knows he's gonna right, ready right, to curb stop this motherfucker is just the cherry on top. But Jin Sinner, thank you so much for your hilarious comment. And it's for that reason you are comment of the day. All right, you guys also point out, uh, the teacher did mention how manipulators and conjurers were more likely to become specialists. So that's a, that's a good point. So he did say that. I don't know. I just wasn't expecting Kurpika to have so many abilities like right off the bat. Like he is, he clearly trained a lot. Compared to I feel like Gon, Killua, and Liario, unless Killua has been hiding some shit or even Liario, I mean, he seems like he's just miles ahead of everybody. But I will be very curious because the seemingly the training arc with Gone and Killua is over, right? Like that was kind of it. That was their moment. So now it seems like everything they're going to be learning from this point is going to be through just sheer battle. And I'm be curious to see how that ends up, how they end up covering their new abilities. Like this is my power or something, you know? Like Kurapika is clearly, like, he was so much further ahead than I, I, ever realized in hindsight makes sense because he really is going into these fights planning to kill these fuckers he needs as much training and as much power as he could possibly get so he didn't just like oh i learned how to conjure a chain and i can make it tough to break out of no he's like i uh i learned i also have specialist abilities i've trained a bit in each of the different categories so i could have something to use when i enter emperor time like it's so cool man like fuck it was so fascinating but a vogan's dead so uh probably gonna put the phantom troop on alert here uh, and meanwhile, Gon, Killua, and Liari are still off doing some shit. So, uh, let's see, uh, what happens next and how they, uh, end up getting involved. So, episode 48, guys, let's get started. How are we back at the internet cafe again? Two billion per spider, Jesus. I wonder if Kurpika will, uh, pick up some of that money. I guess, actually, if you did, you have to go dig up Uvogan's dead lifeless body and drag him out here, though. That's ah, too much work. This <laughs> goofy has music playing. We're gonna use our driver's licenses to convince people to tell us where the spiders are. Okay, very sharp eye. Hmm, okay. I keep waiting for them to run to Kurapika at some point. I wanna see them meet each other and hug it out. <gasps> what the? What? He pawned his hunter's license? What? God, why did you do that? We just spent an entire first arc trying to get it, and then you didn't use it until this arc, and now it's gone? I'm pretty sure you're going to need that later, little buddy. What? He pawned his heart? I don't what? Is he just going to steal back later? It seems like a big deal. Why did they let him do that? Start by purchasing a Southern Bees catalog? What the? Oh. This year's Southern Bees auction catalog. Oh, okay. For like the... Okay. The auction. It's big. God, they're selling a lot of porn in this fucking auction. Every page I turn is just more tentacles. There it is. Seven total copies on sale. Wow. Okay. 8.9 billion. We are very optimistic. <laughs> it's crazy, guys. Just gonna find one of the spires, catch him, and just have him tell us where everybody is. I'm sure they're gonna be super willing. I'm sure we're all gonna be super strong enough to handle them, and we're not gonna die in the process. God's like, oh, you know what? I just realized. Fuck punching things. I need a weapon. I want to stab a motherfucker. A Ben's knife? Crikey. Now that's a knife. A mass murder sign it? Oh, great. <laughs> now I didn't recognize it. It's not look cool. Happened to catch his eye, so he got curious. And he's Gyo. Oh, you don't even know Gyo. God, you're, you are like at least two arcs behind us. You're looking real hard. Mmm. Come on, Liaria, focus. He's like, God damn it. I can do this shit. 
None of these kids that want up me. Yeah. <laughs> Four eyes. <laughs> Super Mosharie power. He never tucked his shirt in. Oh. Oh my, oh my God. What? <laughs> I was like, I don't understand. Oh, <laughs> I clicked. I'm like, whoa, what the fuck? That is actually kind of brilliant. What the fuck, man? The more they keep going into this Nen stuff and how it not just, you know, builds up the characters, but world builds. In fact, it's like, oh, I could look at the effects that a, a passionate talented craftsman could put on his work by seeing the aura it puts off it i'm like holy shit that's kind of brilliant the fact that they made like form formulas around the power levels the this the conditions you have to put on it to make it stronger it's kind of fucking brilliant it really is i'm like jesus i just keep getting more and more pressed by it this guy's been listening the whole time by the way i feel like he's gonna be like what? That thing's worth a billion yen? Well, uh, then I'm selling, t selling it for two billion. You write down what you're willing to pay. When time expires, the highest bidder wins the, pr the item. Oh. Look at this bunny. This thing is easily worth 350 billion yen, all right? But that's because this bunny holds the power of a god within him. This bunny is the final boss of this entire series. You're not ready for that yet, God. Okay. I'll see you at the end of the series, Mr. Bunny. Glowy. Oh my god, it's got a weird face on it. If one has already been placed, under one that's 2.5 times higher. Okay. Unfortunately, I didn't learn math, so I don't know. I, I don't know how to do this. Same person. Uh oh. Oh, they're finding some other person's doing exactly what they're doing. Zipile. Ah, oh, son of a bitch! You're telling me some other asshole learned this shit before we did? And here I thought we were being super smart too. Okay. Well, we got some stuff. One, three, and lost one. He got the weird pot. Who is it? Oh, for fuck's sake, old man. Are you shitting me, my dick? You're telling me we just wasted a bunch of money on this useless bullshit? God damn it! They glow in the dark. Isn't that where we just came from? Yeah, this is like... We're just back where we started. Now we're gonna sell them back to the people we bought it from. This is the beautiful cycle of fucking capitalism. God help us. Oh, God. Killua whipping out his weird charm. <laughs> Look at their smug little faces. Both the like God and Killua are just like, <laughs> we know, we know, stupid, we know. You can't see the glowy shit, but we can. Worth at least 150,000. Is that good? Oh, God. Oh! 300,000. The box and statue from different periods. Motherfucker. Oh, you got to be kidding me. Someone put it, this shit in a fake box. <laughs> but it's glowing. The wood is valuable? I told 500,000. I feel like we're, this is going to take a while. <laughs> we're trying to get to like a billion. And we're like, okay, we got half a million. We're on our way. I don't know. This guy might be trying to, it's trying to screw us here. Oh, who the hell is this guy? Dumb scammy kid. Oh my God, it's his eyebrows. So always that one character with weird eyebrows in every anime. Oh, statue's godlike. The contents of the statue? <gasps> what are you talking about, eyebrows? See the one who bought the stat, the... He, yeah, he's the one who bought the little blobfish looking statue. A wooden trove. Valuables inside the statue. Wait a minute. Another person's here. <laughs> ah. Hoto winking, huh? This guy seems to do this shit up for a living. Just open it the fuck up and look, all right? Double dip in. Wow, we're really going deep into this shit. Fire with the will be scar that he's the one who Seriously, we're really going deep into this shit. Ah, what about this thing? What about this thing? Just bust it open, dude, all right? Who gives a shit about the wood then? I'll be a slave for the rest of my life. What? Give up? He's like, okay, well. Ah! Holy fuck. Holy shit, we had it all the money we needed right here. We're so stupid. Zephyr's hot. 20%, okay. I mean, to be fair, they wouldn't know this. Yeah, <laughs> I'd be like, yeah, that's fair. <laughs> Honestly, <laughs> we would have we would have given this away and walked away with literally jack shit. <laughs> Kill was like, but I could just kill him and take the money back. Gone. Oh. Still hit for him buying him lunch? What? It's a very expensive lunch, though. Okay, so he didn't actually know about Nen. He was just, I, I, at least seemingly didn't. Gurira Island. It's garbage. Fuck you. Oh, fuck you. Don't lie to us. We're looking for this weirdo's dad. He likes video games a lot. Oh, he made this pot. It's a replica. Oh, that was how he made Jenny. Oh, that's kind of interesting. So, hmm. But it shows that he's got a, he's got a serious talent then, right? If he's, if it's got aura oozing off of it that means he's very good 
Oh, they're going to use him for some shit. Here we go. Here we go. I see where this is going. Press the market and buy them back. I don't know. He just dicks around all day. This guy is weirdly fascinated with, with them. I'm a pro owner too. Even though I just spawned off my license like a doodle. Okay, your turn. If you want to make money in an auction, you'll need an appraiser. Yeah, why do you want to help us? Ah. That's kind of cute. It holds your nen. You've got demon powers, don't you realize? Aw, oh, thanks, Gon. It's a lot harder to praise humans, yes. That was good. A nice little bonding moment there. Hoodwinking, double dipping, and welding. Teach me all your shit. Doesn't care about right or wrong. His reaction was simple. Innocent curiosity. Which means that he's dangerous. Someone who can never truly be appraised. Interesting. Mmm. That was a that was a big look into Gon's character, right? He is simple and innocent to potentially a fault. And I think that's gonna play into something later. I don't know. I feel like they've really been driving that point home throughout this entire series so far. Is how Gon he's like an innocent child, but I mm, I'm trying to see like people say he's that could be dangerous right wonder what the danger is the fact that he will maybe the point is he he's not gonna act out of good or evil but his own self-interest maybe like his father potentially i don't know i'm trying to see like where what's the negative what's the bad that comes from that i don't know we'd have to see i guess right they're foreshadowing some shit though just gonna teach him how to weld some stuff puppy Boo. Wrong, God. Bing bong. Bing bong. You create a new opening review of the treasure. Ah. Sidestepping. Interesting. Okay. Clever. <gasps> oh my God, you found a spider. Wait, hold on. I want to come over and I'm going to kill him for you. No, I mean, it's an actual spider on my wall. He's coming to get me. Ah. Oh my God. Did you know the Phantom Troop can crawl on walls, Killua? Sometimes gone. I can't tell if you're real or not. A man and a woman. What the hell? That's the little, that's the thread chick. She's wearing like casual clothes. Actually, so is the other guy, isn't he? He's not wearing his samurai outfit. I guess that makes him stand out a bit too much. Hmm. So there was a video. He found something on the website, a video attached that showed the, the two of them. Who would have uploaded that? Was, was that perhaps Ahsoka? I, I could sort of see him because he's, again, trying to break apart the troop here so they can get after the boss. Uh, uh, leave the auction to him. We believe in you, eyebrow sensei. Gon Kill will learn about a whole new world, but fuck that. Let's go beat some shit up. Ah! All right, I'm going to talk about eyebrows this time. She's it. Oh, her. Okay. Contra vacuum blinky. Suck up anything alive. All right, that was a pretty good one. I, I do think they might have gone a little, uh, might have dragged on a little long on some of the uh, <laughs> techniques of counterfeiting and forgeries and stuff. So I think I'm going to go ahead on the next one because there wasn't really quite as much to react to that one. I don't know. I, I will say, I think some of that really did feel like they, they really didn't go this much detail about it. That's why I was like, I couldn't believe the back and forth between that one guy. Especially now that they just at the end, they're like, okay, who gives a shit about that? Let's go chase after the, the Phantom Troop. So let's go ahead and just hop into the next one. Uh, episode 49. Let's get started. Okay. So we're going after those two, huh? All right. Pursuit and analysis. I'm going to follow them and learn about them. I bet that tip about the Phantom Troop came from Ahsoka. Maki and Nobunaga. All right. Nobunaga, the samurai guy, and Maki is the little pinker girl. Two are just waiting around to be caught. I, I don't think. They're drinking the same beer the other guy did. God, they really love that shit, don't they? Oh. So may have realized that Ubo was killed. Wait, what? Is he guys just watching him? <laughs> Everyone's kind of like, I guess they're still sticking out quite a bit. Oh, are they listening? <gasps> oh. Oh, interesting. <laughs> we are using his wits here. He hire, He's hiring someone to go listen in on them. Probably because they would recognize other Nen users, right? They might like detect their power. So he's sending some just regular folk that would have no reason to, to notice. I was wondering, he's like, what are they doing? Why are those guys looking at him? Here, have some money. I, I think. Wait, where are they going? <gasps> oh, 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 no. They're the one that gave up the the information? Oh, how would they know? I thought it was thought for sure be Hisoka. Okay, uh, okay, no. Well, I thought Liara was paying them to listen in or something, but I think it was just they were the ones that let them know that who the, who they were. I guess, I guess they've just been listening to their conversation. I was to come back to set up with that chain user. Didn't work out too well. He's fucking dead. All right. <laughs> oh, Killua! Finally, saying what everyone's thinking. We're not strong enough to handle them. Especially you, Liaro. You are super behind, man. You need to get caught up. I don't care if the manga makes you count stronger than you actually are in the anime. All right, we're all gonna tell us to hear it now, and you can't do jack shit. I knew as soon as I saw them. Da my dad once had a hit on a troop member. Hmm. One of the few times I've ever heard her complain. Just stay away from the troop, huh? 
Wow. <laughs> Would help you to picture two Ahsoka saying that. There you go. There you go. <laughs> Hello there, previous Ark me. Well, hello there, future Ark me. I do love your outfit. I love your outfit. I should go back and do that. It's so old school. Yours is so new school. I like you. I like you too. Oh, 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 oh my God. Oh, 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 we do get along so well. Aren't they on a date? What's a date? Oh, they actually noticed the couple behind them. They're paying close attention to their surroundings. Mm, they aren't worried at all. They're waiting for someone to find them acting as bait. Wow. We're being watched. <laughs> Boss wishes to recruit him? I guess the, the chain user? The unspoken rule. Alive or dead by any means necessary. Huh, I'm kind of confused about that. Wait, to almost to find him, bring him back. So, talking about Kerpika? Uh, um, alive or dead by any means necessary? I'm not sure what he means. They want to bring him back alive or dead? Why would they want him dead? Does it relate to Krolo's power or something? Does he, like, absorb other people's power? Something? I, I don't know. Not sure if I understand the significance of that. Oh, hamster changed. <laughs> I don't know what's happening. <laughs> That's what was like. I don't know. <laughs> 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 ah. So they were getting upset at each other because the girls interpreting it as they want to find the Kurpika and bring him back alive. And this guy's like, fuck you. I, 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 he didn't say anything about that. He just said, bring him back dead or alive. But why would they want him dead? Just to, sh I guess, to show that not to mess around with them, I guess, right? She's interpreting... Yeah, I think that's what it means. I, I, they're saying, find him and dead or alive. She's like, well, I'm interpreting it as our boss, Krolo, wants to uh, recruit him. And this guy's like, no, he's just saying, get him, bring him back, show him that he's dead. This guy that was, you know, giving us trouble. So now they're like, well, they're at odds here. Oh, flipping a coin for it. <laughs> heads, tails. Uh, Had a spider web. I, I'm not sure if that's heads or tails. Uh-oh. Uh-oh, I fucking knew it. Come back to the daughter. I fucking knew it. They're going to get back to her. They're going to have a reason to go after her, right? Changes her as one of her bodyguards. Uh-oh. Unfortunately, uh, a few of these guys are already dead. Actually, maybe all of them are already dead by this point. Look at this weird little psychotic girl. Those assholes are definitely using that dumb website for my stupid daughter here. God damn it, honey. How many times I told you to stop buying weird shit online, all right? You're sticking up the house with all these body parts. God, girl. Why can't you just collect quarters or fucking stamps like a normal human being? God. Hell yeah, you don't, you're stupid. Yeah, just wait till next year. Maybe somebody won't, maybe people won't die next time. But who can say? Wow, thanks, daddy. Okay, no, the guy, I can remember the, the guy with the ponytail here uh, who could talk to animals or control animals if he actually died. I, I couldn't remember. Now he's still alive. <laughs> Uh-oh. Okay, what's Kurpika doing then? The auction will resume tonight. Oh, so it wasn't really canceled. They're just rescheduling it mm. but he lied to the daughter so she didn't know the ten dons oh. <laughs> owl that's he was the one carrying the merchandise okay so they basically have it professionals hunters the mafia murders a tool not our trade who the fuck oh wait that's kill his dad isn't it or is that just some other guy Be better to leave it to the experts no i think that's somebody else have them crush the troop by avoiding further loss i think oh he's gonna join them okay i don't think it maybe it was Okay, so that's... I'm actually hopping back here. That's that's Kurpika's dad. He does look a bit like him. I don't know. I think it actually might be him. I think he's got the same weird kind of cat eyes. Yeah. I think they might have hired maybe some of Kurpika's family, actually, to do this. I think that's Kurpika's dad and maybe that old man. Was he also there? I don't know. It's been a while. So so Kurpika might be working alongside uh, Kurp, uh, Kilo's family. <laughs> Cell phone kid, gonna take care of Kurpika? Yeah, we'll see how that goes. Yes, sir, I can't leave empty handed. I gotta get my video game. We'll use Zetsu. Tensa Zengetsu. They see us immediately. We give up immediately and escape. Okay. They just uh, judge further pursuits impossible. We give up. God's like, ah, oh, come on. Keep your phone to vibrate. And Liara, you go do whatever. Uh, well, I've tailed somebody before. I'm very good at that. I mean, I did it one time and it sort of backfire but i'm still pretty good at it i tell Soka. even though you end up getting followed by somebody else that <laughs> seemed appropriate just don't let somebody else tell you at the same time like the last time gone tell me you learned something okay just watch him slowly walk along it's funny he's just carrying his sword around like a cane <laughs> i like how it's interesting how kill was out of everyone, though, he's he's definitely the most experienced right even if maybe he isn't the power level of these guys he's still killed and tracked and you know done a whole bunch of shady shit working for with his family so he's like 
he's the one keeping an eye on like, all right, if these guys make a certain move, right? We know that he'll like recognize when something is wrong, that this is bad. We need to go. And I like that. I like that experience with Kill on just like, he's actually a pretty good little leader. Ooh. Won't fail and lose sight of them. Ah, uh, that's cool. I like I like that. I like that a little bit. I've been put on shadowing exercises. I was three years old. All right. I, I'm not going to fail this shit. Perhaps this is one of the first times then he's actually had to put that uh, train to use then. Maybe he actually hasn't done this, this type of job specifically. Just simply that he's been trained in it. And VR missions or something. <laughs> Most likely. Whee! Monkey, 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 gone. Do, 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 do. Moving toward a desert area. No buildings to stay up. It's a trap. Or their hideout. <laughs> Damn, Killa's getting... He's sweating. He's he's nervous, man. He's like, I don't know, man. I, I really don't want these guys to see me. If they see me, we're so fucked. If it's a trap, we should run immediately. If it's their hideout. Oh, uh, this is... I actually, I'm actually really enjoying this because it's really showing... Uh, Killa's getting... He's nervous. He's super... Because he's, he's now really putting this... This test to use. This is a life or death situation now. This isn't training anymore. And these guys are unlike probably other people. Maybe he has tracked people before, but they were near, not nearly as dangerous as these guys, right? I can call him. We continue. Stalker isn't taking the bait. It says multiple people telling them. Okay. Wait, I, I thought you couldn't sense anything. You're telling you, you can sense both of us? The chain user works alone. He's a member of the Strahd family. But he managed to defeat Uvo on his own. Hmm. Yeah. The mafia responsible. They would have used Uvo as a chip against us to get her alive. Uh, yeah. These guys are smart. Why would anyone, someone works for the mafia operates solo? Personal grudge. It's a link between the tail and the chain user. <laughs> Based on our gut instinct. Okay, so they're going to listen in and then run. <laughs> Tensely watching. <gasps> oh, no, oh, guys. Oh, hi. Oh, God. They already knew they were there. Woo! Bounce around, kill him. Oh, he's watching him. Dude, that was actually a really cool scene. I liked the calls him on the phone, talking to him. We're being followed. I guess they can't hear what he's saying, right? And then th that last part where he he's talking to him, he's clearly saying, "We're oh, you want some helpful info? He probably told him, we found them. They're in the building just next to you. And he looks up there. Immediately, they're like, oh, fuck. We got to get out. Too late. Uh-oh. Oh, God. Throw some rocks. A big kick. This will get him. Oh, oh, wait. That's not good. Grab that fucking floor. Come on. Oh, time for the big hands. Woo. Oh, ow. Damn, he fucked up his legs. Uh-oh. He just jump up here. <laughs> to fool the enemy, you must fool, first fool your allies. Wait, wasn't that who he was just talking to on the phone? I thought he was saying, oh, maybe he was just said, hey, they're in the building by you. And he didn't realize he was also up there. I don't know. <laughs> Wonder how so many Sensu Masters around. Uh, stalking the stalkers? <laughs> nee chan. Oh, uh, I am. I, okay, I want you guys to know I'm really not ready for this. I'm not ready for one of you. I'm definitely not ready for two of you. Boy. Chains? Uh oh. I don't know. I haven't seen Karpika in a while. I mean, who's Karpika? Gotta get the fuck out. Gonna die. The tits on that chick. I can check. Uh oh. Mafia go. He's gonna tell him, tell him the truth about the mafia. Good idea. Hmm. He's telling them the truth here, I, the most part. Maybe not revealing everything, but he's saying the other person. So I, so I can check. I'm, I'm almost nervous. If, at some point, if he if he does lie, it, will there be some bad reaction? Master of Master chains the right around his right arm. Do you see chains, man? Two choices. Do you want to die now or later? Three seconds to answer. Uh oh. Oh, I just weed myself. <laughs> I'm like, phone's ringing. There's much. Oh, no, oh, never mind. Your friend surrendered? Boy. Well, that went well. <laughs> We're just squeezed into this car. Way to go, Killua. What do you mean my fault? It's your fault. You stood there. I told you to leave. I told you. God, we should have fucking killed them before we left. Uh -huh. This kid's hair is poking me and pissing me off. Hey, baby. Uh-oh. Need adult. This isn't going very well, I feel like. What? Uh Oh, guys! Hi! Hey, guys! Look at me, Ahsoka! Hello! Hi! Joe Pal! Remember me? We saw each other not that long ago. I know I'm wearing a different outfit, so you probably didn't recognize me, but it's me. It really is! Inside the Phantom Troops hideout! Wow, okay. Wasn't expecting that. I just bring him back. Just bring him back to the hideout. What are they gonna do with them? I don't have a clue, honestly. We're gonna, now we're gonna beat the shit out of you. Got Maki. She's a transmuter. Okay. Her design in that picture though looks kind of different from the design of this show. Almost looks like they ripped her out of the 1999 anime. Transmutes aura into Nen threads that she controls. Stressful next thing is Nen stitches. Ah! 
Kerpiga needs to come save us now. Hmm. I wonder if maybe their intention is to, to train them to become Phantom Troop members or something. Perhaps. Maybe this is where Gon and Killua will learn maybe their own new abilities then? Like their own unique ones? Is through these guys? I wasn't really expecting them to go through more training though. I thought it'd be like just fighting. But I guess these guys are still pretty far ahead of them. Kerpiga could do it, but he, he's clearly been prepared, right? Specifically for fighting them. Hmm. I don't know. I'm pretty sure they didn't bring him there just to kill him. But I'm not sure why they would also believe that they would be willing to join them. Is this something they've done with a lot of other members, perhaps? Do they always get them when they were this young? I don't know. Well, no, I mean, some of them have also, they've also said that just like they kill somebody like Ahsoka did and join them that way, which is a very Gotai 13 method of, of joining the troop. Ooh, interesting. That was definitely, those episodes definitely felt like a, a setting up though. You know, this is definitely setting up for some shit. So now they're there at the hideout. Where do they go? We're going to have to find out next time. Uh, anyway, guys, I hope you all enjoyed this episode. If you did, please leave a like and a favorite. And subscribe if you're not already become Pinky Penguin. For this cell P, where the days are always sunny and the vids are always funny. And as always, guys, till next time, stay classy.